The Family Dog was a concert venue in Denver on West Evans Avenue, way smaller than what is traditionally thought of when you think of the classic ballrooms. There was this little outpost and the art there, I mean, there were no compromises. When you walked through the door at the Family Dog, it was like going into another dimension. It was Alice in Wonderland. It was a fantasy. You were living in a fantasy. It was exciting on every level. And on the every bands, level. my God, you guys. The bands. Big Brother and the Holding Company, Grateful Dead, The Doors, the Jefferson Airplane. It's hard to imagine these days that Denver was anything but a major concert destination, but it had to start somewhere, and the family dog was ground zero. Some of the greatest art of that period was done at the Denver Dog, and it's not like they had hundreds of chances to get it right. They had 16 shots. The burgeoning scene was here. It was a good place for them to come, except for the fact that people were scared to death of hippies. What I most remember was the bust in Denver and being set up in Denver after a concert at the Family Dog. They get these kids pumped up about what the police can and can't do, and believe me, sometimes the police can do more than you think they can do. There's no doubt in our minds that there was surveillance on those houses. And I mean, like Jimi Hendrix and the Grateful Dead and Can't Heat. You have to understand, being a hippie wasn't a real politically popular thing to be. I got kicked out of high school for having long hair, and I had a little scrumpy beard, and they kicked me out of Manual High. And I didn't care, I'm happy to go. It was the unfolding of the universe to us. And politics have never been the same, protests have never been the same, the world has never been the same.